Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you three shower routines and layering combinations with some fragrances that I've done recently that y'all, when I tell you they are so incredible, I had to just make a whole entire video. It's not a bunch of fragrances. We have one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven fragrances. But y'all, the combinations have been so lethal and so deadly and so wicked. Y'all, it's like, y'all just need to stay tuned. If you're interested, please stay tuned if you wanna snatch some heads, okay? Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so I'm so super excited to share these combinations with you, so let's jump right in. Now, a few months ago, when I first started showing you guys my like spring and summer layering combinations, if I had a strawberry routine, it was like all strawberry. If I had a pineapple routine, it was all pineapple. I wanna share with you guys some combinations, like some shower routines, that you don't necessarily have to just use the entire range of ginger, or the entire range of strawberry, or the entire range of peach or whatever that note is it doesn't have to just be the body wash the oil the lotion scented like that that is good i do that a lot and i love to do that because it definitely intensifies the scent of whatever you're trying to bring out in a fragrance but sometimes it's fun to just have fun and play around with your body washes and your soaps and your oils and your scrubs and they don't have to necessarily match but they coordinate say it with me they coordinate they just make sense they just smell really good together so you don't have to really watch the notes so much all the time sometimes just pull things like smell it smell one smell the other if it makes sense together just go with it because it's going to smell good on you so i have a routine that i want to share with you first that i call my woody routine so whenever i'm wearing woody fragrances whether it's sandalwood or a cedar wood sometimes even vetiver oud any of those type of fragrances or if i want to bring those sexy notes out in a fragrance this is the routine that i'm going to do it's perfect for fall perfect for like a sexy date night you know what i mean when you just want to put it on and smell a little bit more strong a little bit more smoky a little bit more woody not too frou frou la la fruity you know all the time so let me start with the bar soap you guys already know i mean it's the same old bar soap it's the traveling bar soap that i'm using for every video y'all it's a staple for me it's the regular dove well actually this one is shea butter and vanilla but you can use any bar soap any dove scented you know whatever the scent that you prefer but for me my base clean i'm more comfortable with a bar soap so i'm just showing you this one this is perfect for fall because it's shea and vanilla now y'all the first body wash in the Woody routine is by Molten Brown, and it's the Mesmerizing Oud Accord and Gold Bath and Shower Gel. Y'all, I already have a backup of this. I already have my backup because this smells so incredible. This has Oud, this has Sandalwood, this has Cedarwood. I believe it has some vetiver and some dried up fruits. Y'all, when I tell you this smells so freaking incredible, I'm wondering if this is a fragrance as well. I'm not sure if this is just a body wash or if this is a body wash to a fragrance. I don't know how the fragrance would do because maybe the fragrance would smell too woody or too oody. But because it's a body wash, it just smells, it has like a fruitiness to it, but you smell the woodiness in it. It's so beautiful, guys. I absolutely love this. And on a sexy date night, when you want to have something really sexy and woody and earthy and i feel like those scents for date nights are just perfect because they don't smell too fruity too fru fru la la you have more depth to you you know what i mean you smell stronger you smell like you mean business sexy business you know what i mean this definitely is a perfect body wash for you now so the other night we went out i did that and something told me like i don't even know why i pulled this something told me just use this along with that and when i tell y'all the two of these smell so good on my skin so this is the joe malone myrrh and tonka shower oil y'all 
on top of the fact that it's moisturizing your skin because it is an oil, it lathers into a body wash, but it's definitely a more moisturizing body wash. Y'all, the scent of this. I keep telling y'all, Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone needs to be in everybody's collection for the fall and the winter, okay? That fragrance is everything. It lasts forever on the skin. Why are we talking about that fragrance? Because this is about the shower oil. But anyway... <laughs> The shower oil. If you've ever smelled Myrrh and Tonka, the fragrance, it smells just like the shower oil. If you've never smelled the fragrance, it's Myrrh and Tonka, like straight up. Like, I don't know how to describe Myrrh. I don't know how to describe Tonka. I mean, it's kind of nutty. It's kind of woody. It smells a little earthy a little bit as well. I paired these two together and I was like, wow, like this is everything. And it did not stop there. Okay, so I needed to scrub. I'm so happy I have this scrub, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. So this is by Skin Potions, and this is the Royal Sandalwood Body Scrub. Y'all, first of all, aside from this smelling like the sweetest, most creamiest, most smoothest sandalwood scent, this also has um, rosemary in it, and you can actually see the rosemaries. Look at this. I don't know, maybe you can't see it, but there's little like green sprigs of rosemary just like all around the scrub. This is going to leave your skin super soft because it is a scrub, but this also has essential oils infused in it. So you're scrubbing and exfoliating all the while having your skin being moisturized and just glowy. Once you come out the shower, once you rinse this off and come out the shower, your skin doesn't have like a greasy sheen to it, but it feels so incredibly soft. It almost looks like you put lotion on your skin, but you didn't. That's how moisturized and hydrated and soft your skin is gonna be after using this scrub. I'm telling you guys, this scrub is amazing. And the scent, listen, y'all, if you love sandalwood, a nice creamy sandalwood, this is gonna be in all, if not all, um, the majority of the routines that we're gonna speak about today. So I have another routine that I use this with and it was everything. So now that we've scrubbed and we've pat dried, now we need an oil and y'all, I've been loving my Kiehl's Creme de Corpse oil. I have so many other oils, but I've just been reaching for this one so much. It's almost finished, as you can see. I've just been using it because I love the spray on it i just love how it smells it's a dry oil but it definitely leaves your skin looking moisturized and hydrated you still look a little bit shiny it's actually the oil that i used earlier today and look at me like i'm still looking like freshly greased if you can see my shoulders you see the light bouncing off of that that's why i love this because it doesn't feel sticky and greasy like at all but it just gives a nice luminous glow absolutely love this so Put my oil on. Now, we're gonna go in with the eucerin. We're gonna go in with the eucerin because right now is a time for the Nest Sandalwood Oil to shine, okay? Fall, winter, this is the season for Nest Royal, not Royal Sandalwood, South Pacific Sandalwood. Guys, if you love a woody scent, if you love the scent of sandalwood, that's exactly what this smells like. I'm sure, I think there's vetiver in this as well, and I think, um, I'm not sure of the other note, but this just smells like a beautiful woody sandalwood, a creamy sandalwood. So put your lotion in one hand, you know what I mean? Put your lotion in the hand, open this, put some droplets of this in your eucerin, rub it together, get it all over your body, all over your body from your head to your toes, okay? You're going to be smelling like that beautiful woody sandalwood all over your body. So now, your fragrance that you're gonna put on top of that, first of all, between that oil, the eucerin, and the royal sandalwood, you know once you spray your fragrance, it is not going anywhere on your skin, okay? Anywhere. That fragrance is going to latch on and just hug you all night, okay? So let's get into the fragrances that I paired with this routine. The first one on the list is by Carolina Herrera, and it's the Good Girl Supreme. So this is the one that has the crystals all over, you know, the shoe. Y'all, so I have the original Good Girl. I have the Good Girl, um, very Good Girl in the red bottle and Good Girl Supreme. I have to say that Good Girl Supreme is my favorite one. This one has a more gourmand, it, it has, a, on my skin, it definitely has a more gourmand 
dry down to me. Um, it's sweet, but it's still kind of woody. It's just so super sexy. Say what you want about the bottle. You know, it may look cheesy or whatever it is, but I'm telling y'all, this fragrance is everything. For a sexy date night, you don't have to spend $300. Like you can spend, I think this is um, like 140 or one something. Get this do this whole woody routine, spray this on, and when I tell you, you are going to be enjoying your scent, you're gonna get compliments, this is everything. So it opens up with forest fruits, there's jasmine, tonka, tuberose, and vetiver. Now, there's no sandalwood in this fragrance, well, there's no sandalwood listed, however, it just all works, it goes. I'm trying to tell you guys that it doesn't have to all make sense, as long as it smells good together, you know what I mean? Just have fun, play around with your scrubs and your oils and your body washes and your fragrances and you will have a great time. I'm telling you, you'll use up all your products. Nothing will sit. You're not gonna say, oh, I'm not wearing a fragrance with vetiver or tuberose so I can't do my tuberose routine. No, do whatever routine you wanna do because I'm telling you, it all makes sense together. Just sniff them and if it makes sense to your nose, you have a beautiful routine with a beautiful fragrance paired with it. Like I said, this one right here is my favorite out of all the Good Girl fragrances. I didn't smell the new one. Um, I think it's like the cherry one. I, I still wanna smell that one, but I did hear that it's similar to Very Good Girl, so I probably don't even need it. But this one right here is my favorite. Like I said, it doesn't have any gourmand notes. Like there's no caramel, there's no almond, but I may be getting that nutty almond type um, scent from the Tonka. Um, and then there's tuberose and vetiver. I'm not sure, y'all, but on my skin, it has a more gourmand scent. I wore it the other night and I was in love. Love. I never really spoke about this on my channel. I think when I hauled it, um, I spoke about it and I wore it a couple of times after that. But then I picked it up the other day and I was like, wow, like this needs to be in rotation because for a date night in the fall, she is everything. Carolina Herrera, good girl supreme. The next fragrance to go along with our woody routine is by Jimmy Choo, and this is Jimmy Choo Fever. I recently spoke about this in, was it a favorites? I think it was a haul. No, not a haul. I spoke about this in a vlog, I believe, showing you that these are good transitional fragrances for fall. Yeah, that's what I did. So I'm wearing it now, as you can see, because it's like that hot one day, cool one day, raining one day, like the weather is all over the place right now. But this fragrance, guys, is a beautiful scent. I told you guys in that video that it's a designer scent that doesn't smell designer to me. Like it just smells like it has more depth to it. I love it. I absolutely love this fragrance, guys. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it is beautiful. It opens up with black plum, there's lychee, grapefruit, heliotrope, benzoin, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So with the woody routine, it's perfect because it has sandalwood in the base as well. I've done this with um, my plum, uh, what is it? Uh, Bomb Dia by Sol de Janeiro because it has that plum note. I believe that has plum and vanilla. So this can go either way. You can bring out the fruitiness and bring out the plum and the lychee, or you can do it really dark and deep and sexy and bring out the tonka and the sandalwood in the base. It is beautiful. Jimmy Choo Fever. Next up on the list with the Woody Routine is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. And I'm so happy, y'all, because my dent is now denting. Y'all see that dent? Like, look how far I've gotten so far. I love this fragrance, y'all. And I'm glad that I'm actually getting through it because this bottle is it's huge. It's not the largest one, but I mean, there's a whole lot of juice in here for somebody who has a lot of fragrances. So I'm glad that my dent is looking a little bit like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm putting a little dent in it right now. So this one, guys, this can go a lot of different ways as well. You can do this with a rose routine um, because the rose is prominent in this fragrance. The patchouli is prominent in this fragrance and definitely that creamy sandalwood is prominent in this fragrance. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with bergamot, there's rose, there's patchouli, there's jasmine, there's amber, cedarwood, sandalwood, and woody moss. Perfect with the woody routine, okay? Like I said, you can do it with rose, and I've done this with the rose routine before, and honestly, it's the woody routine for me. It pairs so beautifully with the um, South Pacific sandalwood oil, it just works. I'm telling y'all, this on a date night, it was everything. Bay kept complimenting me, like, what are you wearing? You smell so good. Mind you, I wore this fragrance around him, I wanna say 
it might have been three weeks prior and he said nothing like he didn't compliment me on my fragrance or anything we went out we went about our business and that was that when i wore this the other night and i did the woody routine and i added my royal sand i keep saying royal sandalwood my south pacific sandalwood to my eucerin this is when he gave me a compliment maybe because he smelled it louder i'm not sure but it was just doing what it needed to do y'all i'm telling you mm, this is so perfect for a date night Gris dior by christian dior so the last fragrance i paired with my woody routine is by christian louboutin and it's luby croc i mean the bottle y'all it's just like the bottle is a work of art it's so beautiful it's super heavy so we're not going to talk about it too long because i want to put this bottle down okay it's super heavy but y'all this is a beautiful myrrh there's i think there's myrrh in this um fragrance there's cypriol there's sandalwood and you definitely smell that creamy sandalwood in the base this smells so rich it smells like regal like it smells so i mean first of all i was gonna say it smells expensive it should smell expensive because this fragrance was I want to say $320 or $300. Like this fragrance was not cheap. The Christian Louboutin fragrances, like the Luby World fragrances are not cheap. But honestly, I think this is worth it because the scent is amazing. It smells so creamy, so delicious. It doesn't smell like anything that I had in my collection or anything that I smelled before. I feel like it could be unisex, but honestly, Luby Crown is more unisex than Luby Croc in my opinion. This just smells like a beautiful, beautiful sandalwood fragrance, but you smell like a little citrus, a citrusy kind of um, opening in it as well. But y'all, this is everything. It's so beautiful, so perfect for a date night and perfect with that woody routine. Christian Louboutin, Luby Croc. All right, y'all, so this routine right here, I only did it one time, but when I tell y'all, <laughs> Y'all, let me let me go on ahead and pat myself right now because the mastermind that has came out of me with this fragrance, y'all. Okay, so should I show you the fragrance first? Let me show you the fragrance. So the fragrance that I did this routine with is by Burberry Her, and it's the Burberry Her Elixir. Y'all, this is newer to my collection, and when I tell you, initially I was like, I wish I got the smaller bottle because I wanted it all to match, y'all. I need a bigger bottle period this right here like if you're ever if you have ever been contemplating getting this fragrance when i tell you to get it get this fragrance not now not right now immediately okay this is a must have in your collection when i tell y'all Okay, first of all, y'all already know how I feel about Beverly Her. Okay, it's no secret. Y'all know how I feel about Beverly Her intense. Initially, when I heard that they were coming out with the elixir, I was like, okay, hmm, that's like a little shady because they discontinued the intense. Now, are they repackaging the intense in a pink bottle and calling it the elixir? I definitely thought that because it was just so weird to me that they discontinued the intense version pulled it off of every shelf you know it i think it came back in stock one time on ulta and i may have linked it for you guys and then it disappeared again okay so that's what i was like okay you know what i'm not even really feeling this but the her fan in me had to smell it so when i smelled it y'all when i tell you it was just pure smiles pure smiles because it's different it's different from the intense you can still tell okay it's part of the burberry her range it does smell similar but it's very different it's how can i it's deeper it's just more it's more intense than the intense if that makes any sense so burberry her is more fruity a little bit more light a little bit more airy and then the intense version is more intense of that and this is more intense of the intense okay so it's just a beautiful scent if you love that scent profile you need to get this this is perfect when i say perfect for a sexy date night y'all i wore this out i got compliments i got a compliment from the waiter they complimented me i'm complimenting me because i was smelling so incredible okay this fragrance right here is everything i absolutely love it and i'm so glad i have it so now that we done gushed about her did i tell you the notes let me tell you the notes so this opens up with strawberry 
there's blackberry, there's jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. So it's sweet, it's slightly powdery, it's woody. And my favorite part of this fragrance is that creamy dry down. When I tell y'all, the sandalwood is sandalwooding in this fragrance, okay? It is everything. So the routine that I paired it with, it's kind of all over the place, okay? It's a little bit all over the place. So we have the Olay Fresh Outlast, as you can see. This is the White Strawberry and Mint. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. It smells incredible. It's like one of the best strawberry um, body scented, body care products that I own in my collection. Like this is everything, okay? I don't know what white strawberry is, but it's everything. So I did that and then I used the Body Shop Strawberry because you guys know, like, or if you don't know, let me tell you. I'm a two, three, four body wash use in the shower type gal, okay? I don't just use one body wash unless I'm in a rush or it's just intentional. I don't, I'm kind of tired. I don't want to stay in the shower too long. You know what I mean? That's when I'll use maybe one or two body washes. But for the most part, I'm using three. I've used four. You know what I mean? Like I get use out of my products. So definitely, guys, the strawberry um, fresh outlast with this it's everything like you'll be smelling like strawberry shortcake okay now for the scrub we're gonna hit it back with the royal sandalwood okay listen it's the royal sandalwood for me it just works it goes with so many rich eye routines this smells incredible it smells amazing there's sandalwood in the fragrance it was only right okay so that's our um scrub kills you guys already know the oil it is what it is. We're not going to spend too much time on that. Now, after the oil, then I went in with my Beja Flor um, Elasti Cream. Now, let me tell you about this um, body cream. I love how it smells, okay? There's no secret. I love how it smells. Now, what I don't like about this body cream is that if I don't use an oil, because I told you guys sometimes I don't feel like putting on an oil, and a lot of times I don't need it because my skin is already moisturized, but if I don't go in with the oil prior to this, it will never go into my skin. It has like a white, I think it's because of the, um, th there's like some skincare ingredients in here. So I'm thinking that's why it goes on like that because I don't have this issue with my um, Bomb Dia cream and I don't have this issue with my Boom Boom cream. It's just this one. Once I put it on, it's so white and I have to really just like spend time and work it in my skin if I'm not putting on an oil. But once I put on an oil, it definitely helps it to melt away into the skin more. So you definitely like, I mean, I don't know about you, but for, but for me, I definitely have to use an oil prior to putting this on because I don't have the time to be like sitting there for 10 minutes. Although I do love moisturizing my skin and I love rubbing on my skin. But when it's not rubbing into the skin and absorbing into the skin quickly, it's really kind of annoying to me. But it, like I said, it does have skincare benefits and it smells incredible. It's not a super loud scent. It's more, um, not faint, but it's a more lighter type of scent, but it smells amazing. So that was our body cream. Now, I told you guys before that I'm using body sprays in my routines. Not all of my routines, but I've definitely incorporated some body sprays in my shower care and self-care routines. Now, with this fragrance right here, this one right here, the Burberry Elixir, the body mist, the fragrance mist that pairs so beautifully with this. When I tell, let me just go ahead and show it to y'all. Let me not make y'all wait any longer. It's by Bath and Body Works and it's Strawberry Pound Cake. If I had a mic, I would just drop it. If I had a mic, I would just drop it because these two together, spray this all over your body, all over your body. And then this on top, y'all, let me ask y'all a serious question. Can y'all tell me who was smelling better than me in the restaurant? Okay, guys, so the last routine that I did the other day that I got my life with, that's perfect for date night, is, what am I calling this? It's a woody peach routine, okay? And it's not a lot to it. 
This one starts with the Olay um, Fresh Outlast again. This is peach and cherry blossom, but it's more peach than cherry blossom. Now the peach in this, fra in this fragrance, the peach in this body wash smells like too ripe. Not like a peach that you'd wanna eat. It's not one of those crunchy peach scents. It's like, you know, you pick up the peach and it's like kind of soft. It's like that, like overly ripe. It's so sweet. Y'all, it smells so good. Y'all already know, like I keep raving about the Fresh Outlast by Olay. I'm obsessed with all of them, okay? All of them. So we starting the routine off with this. Now, again, it's the sandalwood for me. The Royal Sandalwood, y'all. Yes, Royal Sandalwood with the um, rosemary pairs beautifully. It's a creamy sandalwood, but it has rosemary. It's kind of aromatic. And when I tell you the aromatics with this routine is so perfect, so on point, y'all. Now, on this day, I didn't do an oil. I told you guys before that sometimes I don't want to have to deal with the oil. And my skin is already moisturized because I'm putting oil on my skin at least five times a week. So, you know, even though I'm showering and exfoliating and doing all that, my skin is still super moisturized because I'm constantly putting oil on my skin. So I don't have to do it all the time, especially like, it's not like the dead of winter when my skin gets even drier. Right now, it's just, you know, it's okay. So if I put a moisturizer on that's really good, then I don't have to use an oil. So the moisturizer that is in question is by Christian Dior and it's La Colle Noir. Y'all, I told you about this lotion, this body cream from Christian Dior. It is so moisturizing. When I tell y'all, you do not need an oil with this. It melts right into the skin. And for $120, she should. Because the price went up. Like Dior's prices went up. It went up on the bags. It went up on the clothes, the shoes. Everything went up in Dior, including the fragrances, the skincare, the body care. So this used to be hundred dollars and now it's hundred and twenty dollars but I will say I will say I will say it is worth it because it's definitely moisturizing you don't have to use an oil if you have dry skin um, I feel like this will moisturize your skin and the scent is very potent a lot of times when I have a lot of um, like highly scented creams it's moisturizing but you know it's I you know it's not like super moisturizing I still need an oil and you know it, it'll get the job done but I do love it anyway because of the scent this one right here is very very moisturizing and the scent is very very potent Christian Dior the Dior team over there they got it right with these body creams I'm telling you guys and the packaging is so luxurious it's just a really beautiful experience I'm not even gonna lie to y'all <sighs> y'all it's it's the peach it's the rose and the oud for me so this body cream now the two fragrances that i paired with these the other day is of course we're just gonna go in with la cole noir so the notes in this fragrance it's lemon rose spices there's peony there's black currant there's lily there's raspberry there's peach there's musk sandalwood there's amber um, my girl Chris Loves Lux sent me decants of a whole bunch of Dior fragrances like Maison, um, the Privé line fragrances, and La Cole Noir was in it. And when I tell you it was love at first sniff, I smelled it and fell directly in love. And this is a type of scent that can be worn all year round in my opinion. It's woody enough and deep enough that it can be worn in the fall and the winter. But it's still kind of fruity enough and light enough that you can wear it in the spring summer. I feel like it's the same thing with Gris Dior. The only one of the fragrances that I feel like that I have in my collection from the um, Dior Privé that only can be worn, for, in my opinion, in the fall, winter is spice blend and only because it's so super spicy because the fragrances still have a lighter more airy type experience they're not like how can i say like a tiziana terenzi fragrance where the juice just seems heavy and syrupy and dense the the juice isn't like that in these fragrances as you can see like it just even just looks like light and airy you know what i mean but the scent can be carried through all seasons in my opinion this is beautiful latches onto your skin it does not go anywhere and layered with the body cream chum now the last fragrance that i did with this peach and woody peach and sandalwood combination is bitter peach by tom ford Y'all know it's that super sweet, 
rummy, peach, just sexy in a bottle, okay? Sexy in a bottle. Blood orange, cardamom, heliotrope, rum, cognac. When I say boozy, when I say sexy, <laughs> listen, um, Davana, Jasmine, Patchouli, Vanilla. Now, if you guys have the House of Siage Sweet Dreams fragrance, I love the cupcake, but it smells like it was trying to be um, bitter peach. And honestly, I feel like it wasn't a good attempt. The bottle, like I just wish I could get that juice out of the bottle and put something beautiful in it <laughs> because the bottle is so beautiful. But if you have that, then do it with the peach and sandalwood type routine because it's gonna give you that same type of vibe. This to me is much, much sweeter than that fragrance. This has that rum, this has that cognac. This is just so drippy to me. Like you spray this all over you, just imagine just like dripping peaches and dripping lick. It's just, I, I can't explain it. It's just so sexy to me, so super sexy. Oh my goodness, I love this. This, with that routine, <laughs> y'all already know all right guys we've come to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what do you think about these routines are you gonna try any of these fruity and woody routines like i said to you earlier guys have fun with your body washes it doesn't have to be peach body wash peach lotion peach scrub peach spray peach it doesn't have to be all of the same note like it can be and that's really good sometimes but sometimes just switch it up like do like a top note with the with the body wash and then bring out the base note with the scrub and you know your oils and your creams and just have fun and just smell good and make the world smell you okay let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace